Godina viņš ir galīgi pēcī. Godina ir kartonist. Drew ar un sēns vērst. Un tā prezidenta un tā vērta ir šādā. Kā 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 This wouldn't be the first time they tried. We're in the middle of the Crucero War and they get more out of him alive than dead. Obregón had just got them to make peace. But still, everyone was out for his head. Mother Conchita, like a spider weaving clothes anywhere she goes. She's determined and very well connected. And what a coincidence the president was murdered in a meeting with deputies and workers. Rome has very suspicious political aspirations. With the murder of the elected president, they've cleared the path for the leader of the Confederation, or whoever is working with him. Everyone seems to benefit from this death. Inspector, they say it's of utmost importance. They got a detainee downstairs. Fucking hell. We've already got the killer in custody. Tell them to get the story out of him and get me my fucking report. She just hits the fan and we got to Washington on top of us. I'm sorry, Inspector, but the detainee refuses to speak with anyone but you. I have the entire fucking country on top of me right now. But, Inspector, it's a journalist. The one who wrote, they are the mad ones. One and the other, that crazy motherfucker. Let them know I'm on my way. Inspector, over here, sir! What have you got to say about this? Who's the culprit? How will they pay? Who sent him? This is a delicate matter. You'll get the official statement later. We're doing everything as it should be done. So for now, let us do our job. God for me. Inspector, first shot was to the head, five centimeters away. Killed him instantly, but he kept shooting. Victim tilts his head to the left, bends over himself, hitting the edge of the table to finally fall to the ground, lacerating his forehead. The shooter was petrified and did not attempt to flee. Deputy Fernandez Martinez grabbed him and he is being questioned right as we speak. The deceased wore brown trousers and matching vest, white shirt, dark while registering the general's clothes, they found five shots in the abdomen through the camel-colored coat of very fancy making. Well, 
the other hand, sir, there is the reporter, the one that wrote about the crisis. Years go by and they just can't fix that fucking tower. We located the driver and the car that took the shooter to the scene. A green Chevrolet with plates 3007. We located the driver and the car that took the shooter to the scene. A green Chevrolet with plates 3007. Mexico rests in a deep slumber. Francisco and Madero, we owe the effect is so much. And to this Batman right here, we owe the no relation. But right? What's with this fucker? <clears throat> well, this fucker was there. We got killed right after we grabbed the gunman. He's refused to speak so far. But he's the one that wrote that. He's the journalist. He says he's got some information, but we'll only speak to you. I don't know Inspector. He had this with him. with everyone talking to me like damn lunatics. They played some good jokes on craziness, Inspector. <clears throat> the true challenge lies in being able to see the truth even through it. I'm 
telling you, Juan. Revolution's still all around us. They say the fight is over, but I can see several people well armed. Let's take a look. People came from all over the country, even the big shots. There's never been national parties like this before. That's how they plan to make us think the revolution is over. Obregón is planning to charm the people, the international leaders, especially the gringos. You know how we are? Always kissing up to those Yankees. But anyway, let's get to it. Now, have clear eyes and ears, because whatever goes down here will be national news. Find Gregorio. I'm sure he'll be here. Look for him near the fence in front of the National Palace. That's where journalists gather to cover the parade. See if he can give us more information on Palavicini, his accomplice, and the sabotage to the president. Yeah, I think I can find him. I remember his face, and I'm sure I'll get information if I ask around. And Juan, for now, let's keep quiet about the Contracorriente. We don't know who we can trust yet. But let's start here and see where the information takes us. And Juan, for now, let's keep quiet about the Contracorriente. We don't know who we can trust yet. But let's start here and see where the information takes us. Gregorio González Santiesteban, what can I help you with? I'm Juan Aguirre, journalist from El Unilateral. God damn it. Who sent you? And don't play dumb on me. I've been doing my own investigation. And I know you got fired for trying to publish the truth. I also know all about Palavicini's schemes. Well, Juan Aguirre. It's a pleasure. Now tell me, how's that investigation going? Anything new? El Unilateral is planning to sabotage the celebrations. Sabotage? Sabotage how? You were right. El Unilateral is selling news against the president. Palavicini will do anything to make him look bad. And he's not working alone. He's in with someone. Someone high up, close to the president. I see. We have no clue on who this friend is. I think it might be a secretary of state. They'd write something up about the celebration as a fiasco. You should have kept an eye out to see who Palavicini's friend is. You're a journalist, for God's sakes. Could have laid low forever, but I met some people, one colleague in particular. They're crazy, compadre. They showed me it's not enough to sit around and hope for change. They got plans that include everyone. What I wanted to print aired all the dirty laundry. Listen, compadre, why don't we work together here for a bit? Help each other out. I'll make sure to find out what I can about that friend of the president. I know how to crash that fancy party. 
you try to find out what this sabotage of the celebration is. I'm sure you'll find something with those people gathering there. Listen to me. It seems to me that the plan has something to do with those groups who are seeking to cause chaos. Over there, you got the communist, and over there, something is up with the banners, see? They're up to something. A strike or a riot is brewing. Start there. And if you find anything, look for me in the president's party. Sí. Hmm. Hmm. ¿Qué?
Monty. Ну что, это же фильм, но что это же фильм, это же фильм. Чего я не могу сказать,
Oh. Archivero, this is bigger than we could have imagined. I talked to Gregorio. He knew about Pallavicini's plan. He suggested I look into the protest over there. And it was all put together to spoil the celebration. That is what the El Umilateral is going to report. The protest isn't really asking for anything that's already been settled. It's the same as always. Using ordinary people for their stupid political aspirations. Pushing them around like they are nothing. I found some protesters that had little to no idea what they were protesting for. They were all called in by Luis N. Morones, leader of the Regional Confederation of Mexican Workers. Napoleon Morones. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all that Snooper is involved. But what does he gain from this? I'm sure Morones is collecting favors or he's got something to win down the line. There is no doubt he's working with the secretary who team up with Palavicini. So this is much bigger than we thought, Juan. Someone from the inner circle of the president is working with the newspaper. And the biggest group of unionized workers in the country to screw the president over. This can only lead to more deaths. No wonder Gregorio was kicked out of the newspaper. We gotta tell him all of this. We cannot simply stand by and watch. I can't believe I'm saying this. But we gotta get close to the president. You gotta find a way to get inside the National Palace and find Gregorio. Right. The National Palace? I'm gonna end up in jail just for trying. What happened with avoiding uncomfortable eyes? Juan, this has no precedent. The future of the country and the people depends on what we're about to discover. Inside the National Palace, you'll find every- Afternoon, good sir. Not right now, Keith. We have nothing for you. If you really got nothing, then I won't tell you how to get into the National Palace. Stop snooping around and go take a long walk on a short pier, alright? What if I told you there is an underground tunnel that connects part of the city? Keep bothering us and I call the policeman. No, Juan, let him speak. So tell us, little fella, if it does exist, how would a kid like you even know such a passage? It's 
you can see, I'm a man of many talents. I know my way around all the nooks and crannies of the city, see? Yours truly is the top-notch guy to get in into all the spots. I'm the one who knows all the routes from Tacuba to the National Palace, see? For the modest amount of five pesos, I'll get you the right as rain. Well, what if you don't? How do I know you won't try to rob me once we're far away? I know you're kind. I won't fall for that. What would I go stealing from you when it's clear as day? You got nothing worth taking. But all right then, let the death linger. Well, all right then. But you will get the five pesos until we get there. You won't regret it, sir. My name is Pelon. You'll see I'm a fantastic friend and partner. Eso solo puede significar una cosa. Se jodió el plan de Agua Prieta. Otros periodistas han abierto paso para ti para que pudieras llegar hasta aquí y ahora. ¡Es tu turno!